and 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 keep the seven commands of Noah. And and besides, it's it's a very difficult process, and we're not we're, we're not exactly trying to convert humanity. No, no, no. Stay the way you are. You have your own fulfillment, and 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 teach other Gentiles to keep the seven commands of Noah and. So basically, he told me, you know, I'm an old man, and and um, for me to change my my habits, it's very difficult, and uh, I live my life. So I decided to stay in that way. But why exactly am I teaching at the university? I'm not. I'm not uh, acting a, a missionary there. Uh, when uh, Jewish people come to study then I usually try to avoid them from coming to my courses. And I'm assuming that if I'm going to leave the job, then then um, somebody else will come to and take this position. And he probably will act a um, uh, missionary activity. And besides, uh, um, I'm trying to discourage Jewish people from taking the course or and and if they come, then I I try to give them lower score to discourage them, and that's the way I'm I'm trying to avoid uh, them from uh, converting to Christianity. And that's my way. I like I told you, uh, the conversation uh, left a big impression on me, and uh, when I right before I. I, I left. I, I asked him some more some more questions, and when I drove back home, he took me to the parking lot of the church, and I took my car. I drove back home, and when as soon as I arrived home, then I I picked up the phone again, and I and and we continued with the discussion. And he told me, you know what? What is your problem? You are an Israeli, and as an Israeli, you think that. Uh, your country, very, it's a very young country, and therefore, and therefore, um, you, um, your country um, have fifty fifty years of history, but and and we have like two hundred and sixteen years of history. That's what I, he told me, or it was maybe even less. Then you got to understand. You, your legacy didn't start 50 years ago. Your legacy started 4,000 years ago. Nobody really can teach you much. You didn't come here to study from us because you think, you think, you forgot your ancient identity and your new identity took over your old one. Do not replace, he told me, do not replace Avram Avinu with David Ben Gurion, and do not replace Sarah Imenu with Golda Meir. That's what a, a gentle person told me. You get to understand. No, nobody can teach you much about spirituality. Go back to Jerusalem. Live your own identity. Live your own life, and, and keep the commands. And and that's good for the entire world. I was. Uh, in shock, he told me he was trying to explain to me how my new identity as an Israeli uh, in in the new time uh, uh, kind of contradicting my old ancient identity, which is for a thousand years ago, and 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 it told me no, keep your old one, your old identity. You're a Jew before you were an Israeli. You got to understand. Uh, you have to follow the the Torah. That was um, my first shock, and 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 basically, I it gave me a, a lot of uh, material to think think of. Um, and I want you to know that uh, since then, I. I decide not not to go back no more to the church, because emotionally uh, I 
I felt that I that it's not only intellectually that I I was able to find out that Christian Christianity or the believers of the New Testament doesn't have any answers to the questions, but if you remember because I I made my own research and I had an argument over a year with the rabbis in upstate New York in Muncie and with my brother-in-law, which was a priest that converted to Judaism, and then he came to argue with me in Muncie. And and like I told you, I made my own research for a long time and, and, and came to a conclusion that all the prophecies in the Bible that Christianity claims to be fulfilled by by Yeshu basically were out of context. And then uh, uh, by by the lecture in the church, uh, uh, putting it to fill in, and 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 by visiting and and, and uh, Doctor Michael, it was um, a little excitement, emotional excitement, that took me away even further from uh, uh, visiting the church. But uh, still, back then, my wife used to go on her own, and and sometimes I used to drive her uh, to the church, and then. And then drive away, and she started to ask many questions. What's going on with you? What's happening to you? Basically, I I was trying to uh, to call to Israel and to to see whether my mother already knew. She knew that I'm a, uh, that I that I was a missionary. And she was a Haredic woman already. She made a tshuva with her husband. And all my brothers were already Haredim. And um, it was, um, I was like, I was the black sheep of the family, away from the family. And uh, I was trying to renew my relationship with the family because... When I used to call and my mother used to hold the phone and and not to answer me and to hang up on me and I was trying to uh, to do to to renew the the relationship after a few weeks I was able to speak with my mother and I told her I'm, I promise you that I'm, I'm 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 changing I'm not I'm not exactly what you think I am I'm, something is is happening to me and and I would like you to come over to the states and maybe visit visit me. And and she told me how come how how do you want me as a Haredic woman to come to the states and and to be by your house when you don't keep kosher when you don't keep Shabbat when you're living with a, a Gentile woman claiming marriage and and how do you expect me to come with my husband and my Two little daughters, which which are your sisters, you how how they're they're ready for Bet Yaakov. We keep Shabbat, we keep Torah. I told her mother, you can do anything you want here. I can I can take all the dishes and and, and out from my kitchen, and you can buy everything uh, disposable. You know, chad uh, me uh, uh, a plastic uh, um, things and 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 we can but what about what about your your wife no no, no I'm gonna send her uh, travel uh, I can arrange something and then she told me uh, then I, we have to ask has to to ask Rab Shach and she sent her husband to ask Rabbi Shach whether to fly um uh, to to America to Florida to visit me. Her husband, which was already uh, his look already just like Eliyahu Anavi, with his white beard and his his pears and, and black yarmulke and it, uh, sits it outside and 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 he he was lo- he was looking like a Haredic. Um, he made a tshuva, a big tshuva. And he used to uh, uh, basically study uh, by Rabbi, Sh- Rabbi Shimshon Pincus, which become uh, his, uh, his uh, favorite rabbi, and he used to 
to to go to his house and and uh, Rabbi Shimshon Pincus used to come to our house and and he was able even to convince my my mother to put a a, a cover on her head uh, by as not only for not only for for uh, lighting the candles before Shabbat but for always and and then um so he become his his, his Hasidic of of Rabbi Shimshon Pincus uh, um and and when when he asked Rabbi Shach then Rabbi Shach told him to go to Har and go and and fly to America and he told to my mother and my mother told me okay are you invite inviting us then uh, are you going to purchase the ticket and so i i was i i, I sent her the ticket to my little sisters and my mother and father and they came to miami and when i saw them after so many years and they they seems to me like you know out of space uh, and were so religious with their look and i uh, they saw me with the long hair and uh, um and when i took them in my with my car driving from miami to fort lauderdale then on my my way driving to fort lauderdale and we were quiet <laughs> they they have a long way were very uh, tired and then uh, all of a sudden my sister I, I turned on the radio very light very just to and i and I heard Rod Stewart in the over the radio, and uh, my little sister that I barely know her uh, uh, she she told me, "Can you turn off the radio? I would like to sing a song and then I told her, "Yes, okay, why not?" And I turned off the radio and then she started to sing Shirama Lot, and all of a sudden, my mother and father woke up. <laughs> uh they they started to to respond to her shira malot samachti veomrim li samachti veomrim li bet hashem nelech bet hashem nelech and i was you know amazed listening to uh, to tehillim in, in the hebrew words i used to listen to a tehillim in in, the, in over the media in to a uh, in, in, in a uh, Baptist program in, in the TV, listening to it in English, but when I heard it in Hebrew, it, it's something much more, much more uh, deep. That that in in your mother language, especially in the original language of King David, uh, the, it was you know, and I, I was listening to it from my. A little sister and my father and mother responding to her in my car, I was thinking to myself, oh, we we're not driving to Jerusalem. It's not Bet Hashem. I'm not driving to Bet Hashem. No, it's not Yerushalayim. It's that we're standing before. We're standing before Fort Lauderdale. Oh, they're coming to my house. Oh, wow. It's not exactly the holiest place in the world, but, but. Thoughts came to my mind, and when we came, we arrived home. They went to the kitchen. They put their stuff, their, their stuff, and then they right, ran straight to the kitchen to grab everything they could in in, a, in plastic bags, black huge plastic bags, and and to to take them out of of my house. They didn't want even to make them kosher. They just want to. Take everything, all the dishes, all the, all the glasses. All, they didn't even, and they took everything to my car, to throw to the garbage. It was a lot of dishes, a lot of. Uh, it was very expensive. Uh, uh, I would say exp- very uh, huge expense, but but it doesn't really matter for me. I I want them to feel comfortable. I'm gonna purchase. Uh, uh, new ones after and then we went to to buy some other dishes plastic ones and, and uh, 
then they prepare themselves for Shabbat. It was already uh, a Thursday, and uh, they prepare for Shabbat. And they, in Shabbat, they, 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 they before Shabbat, they made a, a phone call to Israel to find out in my location where is a synagogue. I didn't even know where the, if there is any synagogue around me. It was a, it was a, and then they were able to find out where is the synagogue. And uh, then we prepare the Shabbat in my house. Karin was not there. She went to Georgia to travel with her friends. And then um, and I, I was able to arrange it where she was planning to go. And um, and then I told but my and then I bought a ticket to that same play the same time frame and uh, basically we were sitting around the table and my father started with the shalom alechem malache hashalom and it was very well, let's say uh, sen- sen- sentiment sentiment sentimental thing because I heard it when I was a child. I heard it from my father before he died. I heard it from my grandpa, my grandfather. He was a very old man after my father died. It was at the age of 10, 11. And all of a sudden to hear it, Malach Elion, Malach Rachamim. It was very excited. I, my eyes start to to be wet. I had tear tears in my eyes, and my my mother saw me, and uh, she didn't understand. Uh, she thought that I I feel sorry because I cannot uh, have my wife there. Maybe I don't know, but she. She gave me uh, something to dry my uh, my eyes, and and then she asked me, "We didn't come to make you feel bad. We we came to make you happy. We came to visit you. Why are you tearing?" And she didn't really understand. I couldn't really tell her uh, exactly, but I was very excited to hear such a thing after so many years in my house. I, I, I saw the white map and 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 the shabbat and the candle and, and my parents around the table in my house in fort lauderdale in florida uh i was i was very excited i was very excited and it it left a, a big impression on me and i thought to myself what happened to me that i'm so against it how i become a an anti, I, I, I become a missionary. What happened that I rejected Judaism altogether? What's wrong with me? They have a nice family life. They're not harming anybody. They're, they're, they have a harmony in their family. There's a beauty of unity and, and, and nice holiness and, and spiritualism. And why... I was so rejecting Judaism. Something probably is wrong with me. I live my life as a wolf in 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 in, in exile, living my life away from my nation, from my country, from my identity, betraying my father's and my grand grandfather's legacy. I felt a pain in my heart at that time. I couldn't really explain to anybody what exactly I'm feeling, but I was going through something very emotional. Um, I I couldn't really um, explain, even not to myself, what's going on inside me, but I felt that I'm, I'm in a in big trouble. Spiritually, I'm in a big trouble. Um, on one hand, I'm... I love my wife. On, on the other hand, uh, I would like to, and, and on on that, on that same hand, I would like to go on with my 
my dreams and I'm flight instructor and I'm I'm able to manage a flying school soon and and uh, and on the other hand and maybe go on with maybe go on with my studying I already have a, a, a my citizenship in in America and and I have a, a private airplane my own airplane so what's wrong with me and on the other hand I was starting to feel that I'm missing Israel and, and the lifestyle that really I was a soldier I was an officer but I never let live my life in Israel as a civ- civilian as, as a as a as a, uh, um, a regular person not not uh, a student not a, uh, a soldier or an officer but as a regular person Israeli that living his life in Israel I've never experienced it and um, and I really far from what from the feeling of, of how the life in Tel Aviv or, or in Jerusalem will be will be like um, but then I flew my father and, and mother with my own airplane over over the beach and I didn't realize that my my mother she have a She, a height fear she was fearing heights and and I was trying to maneuver to do some maneuvers to show her what I know and what I don't know but basically she she was not curious about it she just went on my airplane to fly with me to pray some more to heal him in my cockpit so something a miracle will take place and my soul will wake up That's all that was was her purpose i I didn't know it back then, but years after when I got married, then my mother my mother told to my wife I'm talking about the Israeli wife from a kibbutz that made a chuva here in Israel, and nowadays I have seven kids with with her so she 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 made a big chuva. And, and uh, she left the kibbutz and, 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 and my, my, my mother told her that back then when she came to visit me she didn't go and fly with me because she wanted to see Miami from up above and, and to see what I know about what is my knowledge about flying and how what kind of maneuvers I know and I don't I was immature I would say and and, and The definition of life was not exactly uh strong enough to really wake me up and 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 uh and see what important in life and what not important in life but she was she knew what she would she was doing she came to visit me to put some holiness in my house in my mind in my heart. In my cockpit so it will increase my 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 awareness uh, to to the Jewish legacy and maybe something will the, the lost child will come back home and when when they flew back home to Israel I was left with a vacuum in my heart and when and my my wife came back and Then she started to realize that a few changes in me because I was really more curious about about my own legacy. It was a new search but emotional search, not only intellectual search, but it was something I was starting to i was I was starting to to go back and to search and to think and uh um We will 